YouTube, it's Brian Phillips here again with something amazing, something never seen before. <laughs> it's a box that we're gonna cut open. Actually, it's two. A special treat for you all. Now, these come in two different pieces because this is a big piece and this is a small piece. Uh, when I order these, thanks to Banggood for sending these out for my review. And uh, what we're gonna be dealing with, this one I just made sure there wasn't anything in it. Weird. Because sometimes my wife orders stuff and uh, when they show up, they're in these little packages as well. So I didn't make 100% sure. Oh, what do we have here? Looks like, looks like whatever that part number is. Can you get it? Hold on. Yep. And then I'm gonna flip it. It's mm -hmm. a satellite and, uh, what is that, seven channel receiver? Mm-hmm, I think so. Yep, DM703 from Redcon. So we're gonna give this a try, and you may remember a Redcon receiver not working so hot on my last try. So we're gonna give it another shot, and we're gonna give it a shot on this. What is this thing, you might ask? Well, we're gonna find out right now. And it's gonna be awesome! Ooh, that thing's sharp. Oh, it's like Christmas Day, except not Christmas Day, and our builder's waiting for us to get to the house. <laughs> I've been instructed to do this unboxing quick, which all of you will appreciate. You're welcome. Ooh, look at this fancy dance. As usual, bang good packages in the stupidest possible way. And for whatever reason, they still manage not quite to protect the stuff. But let's just put it this way. They have the stuff, it's a good price, and this is something you're gonna wanna get. Because the first one, V1, was awesome. And I never actually had it. This is V2 of the 2000 millimeter Phoenix by Volantix RC. Oh, look, oh yeah. V2, oh, let me get this checked out of the way. Wow, okay. Okay, so what do we have here, guys? Phoenix V2. Why is this V2 and not just, oh, and this is the item number 759.2 or 759.2. This is a plug-in fly model. Okay, so it's quick assembly and uh, it's made by Volantix RC. This is the way that the wings go in on this. Okay, now this is a, guys, I'll be honest. The 2.6 meter Volantix Phoenix, awesome plane. Great flying, great value, and it's also a 2.6 and 1.6 meter, so you can build it in either configuration. But let's be honest, has anybody bought the 2.6 and built the 1.6? I don't think so, it doesn't happen. People put all the wing in, because they want it huge. Unless you're weird, or you have a small car. <laughs> but here's the thing, number one issue with the 2.6. It's huge, and the wing comes apart in three pieces, middle section, end, and end, you gotta unscrew the thing to take it off. I hate taking my planes apart. Ooh, actually pretty good packaging. Ooh, yeah, look at this, guys. This might even make it from halfway across the planet in one piece. With little more than foam and garbage bags. <laughs> Cut. Oh, yes. It's gonna be good. There's so much bubble wrap. We could, like, sell goods for years out of this thing. <laughs> Okay. Oh, oh, where's the opening? There. You're killing me, Valentix. It's supposed to be a fast unboxing. Sometimes with Chinese planes, it's a little hard to tell the difference between the packaging and the plane. <laughs> so, but here's the thing. Let's show them this in the light. Good hinges, guys. Valentix. Look at this. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Can you guys see the plastic through there? Mm, yep. They can see where it's glowing? Yep. So, what I say about that is, let's show them up close. You see, guys? They got a hinge in there. It's not just foam. It's not just a, a compression pinch. And this, glued on securely, probably with mucilage. Control horn, control horn position. Looks like they're gonna come out the back of, so you can do a pull-pull system on this. I don't even know what it's gonna be. It's not gonna need a build. The build's coming soon. Horizontal stabilizer and elevator. Oh my goodness. Woo! Our builder is going to be mad because we are going to need an eight. Wow. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Ooh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Show them, guys. Hinges. 
I don't know if they can see that. Get a really you close can, shot. Yeah, you can see the, the plastic. The different color change for sure. There's four yeah. hinge, or is there three? Three. There's three plastic hinges. And this, honestly, for a Volantix, you see how much deflection there is? So like if I bend it here, see how it bends? That is actually really good for Volantix. Um, and let's just be honest, guys. Volantix makes a cheap plane. And I've been super impressed. This thing is really light, but it's got flexibility. So like if you suck at flying and then you're like, you're like boom into your fridge, not gonna be in a million pieces. <laughs> It'll be in like one piece with a giant dent. See, it survived. Oh yes. Uh-oh. I'm having visions of mad life. I need to hurry and unbox. And millions of viewers complaining about a five minute unboxing! Six. Six! So far. Oh. That'll be good if we ever have something huge and long. <laughs> this wing, oh my goodness. This is like the SW28 wing, guys. We got the clicker here, we got the tape, we got inboard flaps. Oh my goodness, guys. Flaps and ailerons. Are you kidding me? And you didn't have to do it yourself. They got the uh, integral winglet, if you want to call it that. Sharklet. Good stiffness. Good stiffness! You know what I think we're going to have to do with this? What? We're going to have to take it and throw it off the mountainside and film it. It's going to be awesome. But until such a time as I can do that, we'll just throw it from other places. So this is a two meter... Okay, so this... Imagine with the fuse. Okay, I'm six foot tall, six five if you're asking my life insurance guy. <laughs> Hold on, I can't even see you. So I'm simulating the fuse thickness here. So it's somewhere between this and that. That's a pretty good size. Two meters is a great size for a glider, guys. It really is. 2.6 is sort of better, except this is going to be awesome. And it, honestly, if the wing structure was like this on a 2.6, oh, 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 it would be good. Oh. <laughs> Oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. Give him a shot of this. Look, wow. Whoa, my motor was like trying to make babies with the box. Can you <laughs> see this here? Woo, that wowzers. Baby planes. Wow. Oh, Volantix, look at this. Very good shipping method. That was a mounted to the box at one point. <laughs> and then um, these things, they they got to know each other really well on the trip too. Two, two rods, not just one guys, but two. One's shorter, one's longer, hollow. Ooh, strong. I mean, it's very light. I mean, this thing feels like carbon fiber, except it's not carbon fiber. Aluminum. Ooh, the short one's super strong. So the way this assembly works is, you'll see it in the assembly video. Stop asking. That thing looks good. Really good. Okay, hon, I gotta I got show them at least one thing. Hold on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this. Oh boy. Builders gonna be mad. Builders gonna be pissed. It's okay. They make me pissed all the time. Okay. See this? Watch this, guys. Watch this. Watch the assembly. Watch this. I mean, there's a little bit of wiring in there too, but. Uh... Oops. I had a servo connector in the way. <laughs> oh yes. You guys see that? Now obviously that's not supportive enough to hold it. So you also have these two things that have to get rammed through. And the way you can tell, this is the trick guys, you get a long one and a short one. Once you figure it out, you know, okay? If you get the long one, you got the short one. Short one, long one. So the long one goes in, yeah. In, in mine, it's going in kind of hard, okay? So we're gonna do a little bit of milling on that, meaning uh, we'll probably go ahead and get a drill and just clean up the hole a little bit. Or we'll put this in a drill and actually run it through with a little lubricant like Windex. Um, or industrial lube, whichever I find first. Okay, so they come out, easy. That's the whole point, guys, and this thing is gorgeous. It looks way better than the other one, doesn't it? I don't, mm, I don't know. Are you gonna defend the old one? I can't remember, it's there's awesome. so many. This thing, well, that's true. <laughs> okay, so, whoa. There's foam inside, like what the heck, guys? That's, that's a little weird. Is that packaging or is that supposed to be there? Oh, no, it's got a release. Oh. Gosh, I don't have to take all that crap out every time. So anyway, all right, so then there's a box. The box has miscellaneous hardware and stuff. 
Got the regular 10-6 prop, folding 10-6, 10 inches, six inches of pitch, okay? That is a 10-6 prop, stock. Control arms, Y cables, uh, linkages with clevises, really high quality ones. And then we've got some decals, my least favorite part of the plane. A plank, wow, that's like a very small page of decals for a very big plane. But that's okay guys, because this plane is gonna be awesome. And then of course the Chinglish manual. Super And helpful. so let's define that quick. I mean, even though we're late, let's go ahead and talk about it. Chinglish means it's written in English words that make no sense to English speaking individuals. Okay, so we can just go ahead and put that over there until we need to find the CG to go get it off the ground. So there you have it. It's good, guys. This thing is going to be awesome. It really is. I'm excited to get this thing together. Um, it's going to look good. It's going to function well. This comes with the onboard ESC. Yeah, that does have a release clip on it. Okay. So look at this, hon. It's got the shine down in there if you can. See, this is a Voyantix. Uh, it's kind of like their go-to motor. I bet it's going to have ESC farts on 4S, but this is V2 guys. Maybe they fixed the problem in the ESC. 30 amp ESC, Volantix RC, EP30. Ugh. It'll work okay if you don't increase the size of the, the prop, but honestly, when I see that thing on this thing, oh man, it's probably gonna make me wanna get a better one. So for now, we're going with what it comes stock, and you're gonna watch on the next video. Come back for more.